Christmas production. This is our first Christmas production at Harris Incorporated. And this is very interesting. It's Clement Moore's The Night Before Christmas. As you know, we're going to sing a few songs for you. And we have puppets for you. Okay. Also, we're filming it. So there's a woman with a video camera right behind you. Mom. Okay, go ahead, get started. All right, and right now, with all that out of the way, we're presenting to you that performance of a few songs by yours truly. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, across the field we go, laughing all the way. Making spirits bright when fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh.
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. You can't see it. It's a light trick. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. I don't believe it. Santa! <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted around the world. Let me wait till the next one so I can make sure I get the puppet part. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Clement Moore. Wait a minute, you're not Clement Moore. And this I am. Clement Moore was an 18th century professor and a writer of verse. I mean, yes. Yeah. Well, just let me tell the story, okay? All right. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I'm stirring and I'm a mouse. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Y-M-C-A. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, the bell cow. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <coughs> More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. No basher, no dancer, no prancer, no fixin'. I'm coming on Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. No dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his hat. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His broad little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed oh, oh, oh. like a whole full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right gentleman elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head 
who gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. Then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Look, Sam, I he was here. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, oh. Christmas, man, I'm sad. Uh, oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not cry. Yeah. 
appeared and the soul felt in words. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder break. A new and glorious morn I didn't get you anyway. All I have is. <laughs> Are we rolling? We're rolling, baby. Okay. And that's it for our program. I'd like to thank those for many. Our camera person right there. And this is Keith for our thought box. Of course, John Paul. Oh, wait a minute, John Paul. Okay, Parker. Okay. And, and to Mrs. Gomez for putting together the costumes and everything. Parker.